How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this nice little drop effect going. Basically what it does is it snaps to the center of an area 2D. If we're not hovering over anything, it won't snap to anything, but if we're hovering over one of the area 2Ds, it will give us a really smooth snap effect. This is going to be a continuation of the previous video where it was just a simple drag and drop. As you can see here, we can drag the 2D sprite. The first thing that we're going to want to do here is go back into our level scene and create a new area 2D. We're going to be using this node for dropping our sprite, so we're just going to name it drop underscore spot, and then we're going to instantiate it as its own scene. Inside of this new scene, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a mesh instance 2D, and we're also going to be needing a collision shape 2D. We can just put a basic quad mesh here, and I'm going to hold alt and drag so that it gives me a pretty even square, and then I'm going to create our collision shape, which is just going to be a basic rectangle shape, and once again I'm going to hold alt and drag. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just to give it a little bit of extra room. That looks pretty solid to me. You'll notice here that our sprite actually goes behind it. We don't want that, so we're going to put it under it in the scene tree, and now it looks good. Our snapping space is going behind the sprite. I'm going to duplicate this so that I have two of them, and I'm going to just make them both a little bigger. You can make them different sizes, they don't have to be the same, but they should be at least big enough for the sprite, since we're going to be centering it when we snap it. We're going to need a way to be able to select our drop zone inside of our code. So what we can do here is go to the drop spot and give it a new group. We're going to call this drop underscore spot underscore group. And then inside of our code, we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call this drop underscore spots. And then we're going to make a ready function. And as soon as our stuff is ready to load, what we're going to do is say drop underscore spots equals git tree dot git nodes in group drop spot group. And then to test it out, we'll just print out the drop spots for now. And you'll see we've got both of those printing out to the console, so it seems to be working. Now, inside of our else statement here, upon release, what we're going to do is say for drop spot in drop spots, which is going to let us loop over all of the available drop spots. each drop spot we're just going to print drop spot dot get overlapping areas and you'll see if we run this when we are dragging and dropping it's just dropping blank arrays even when we're dropping this directly over the area 2d that's because it's looking for an area 2d so what we have to do is actually modify our draggable sprite here and we need to add an area 2d to it also, I'm going to reset is dragging equals false up at the top of this else statement here. I didn't mean to get rid of that. Sorry about that. So inside of our draggable sprite here, ideally the parent node here would probably be an area 2D, but it doesn't really matter. I already started making it this way, so I'm going to keep it like this. And I'm going to add an area 2D and a collision shape, and then I'm just going to make my collision shape. Again, I'm going to make it a little more generous, and I'm going to make it slightly bigger than the actual sprite. Now when we drag and drop, you'll see that it's picking it up and it's changing the one that it prints out based on the one that we're hovering over when we let go. That's exactly what we want here, so it seems to be working well. Now that we have the detection working, we're going to make an if statement. We're going to say if drop spot dot has overlapping areas. Basically what this means is it's just checking to see if there's any overlapping areas, but we also want to make sure that it's us that's overlapping. So we're going to say and drop spot dot get overlapping areas, which returns that array. We're going to say dot has, which is just checking to see if something's in the array. And then we're going to say self, which is our draggable sprite, dot get node. And we want to get our area 2D for the draggable sprite. 
So we can just pass that in as a string. If you named your area 2D something else, you will have to pass in the string that you named it as. It's not looking for the actual node type here. It's looking for what you named in the node. And then we can just print valid drop. All right, so it's working. It knows when we're dropping. And all we have to do now is get that center functionality working. I'm going to make a new variable here. I'm going to call this snap position. And I'm going to set that equal to the position of the drop spot in question. What I can do after that is just copy and paste all of this tween code. I do need to modify it a bit though. I'm going to get rid of this global mouse position minus mouse offset and set that to snap position and then I'm going to remove delta because we don't have delta. You may want to adjust the delay here because, because it's not being multiplied by delta. Okay, so everything should be working now if we run this. Let's drag it in the left one and perfect, it's centered and the right one, it's centered. Okay, yeah, this looks really good and if I don't drag it in either, it shouldn't center at all. Everything here seems to be working perfectly, so that's going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, let me know. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best to help you out. I hope you have a great day. Take it easy.